Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am at the Athenaeus port waiting for our ferry to Milos. There are two types of ferries, the fast one and the slow one which would be quite cheap. You can either book them through their direct websites or via third party websites like Ferry Hopper or Ferry Scanner. I did mine from Ferry Hopper. Depending on your ferry operator, you would either have the option to check in online or you'd have to pick the physical tickets from their companies. So we have booked the slow one because of the timings. So we're just waiting for the ferry to arrive and then we shall go to Milos. Let me show you the interior of the ferry. You are free to take any seats. You don't need to pre-book or pay except for these airline style seats which need to be pre-purchased. You can also track your ferry on the app before and during your trip, which is very convenient. This is where we are staying for the next couple of days. It's only around 400 meters from Sarakinigo Beach, the most popular beach in Milos. The chalk white cliffs and the lunar landscape makes it one of the most Instagrammable beaches in the world. But despite the popularity, it was not crowded and was rather peaceful, probably because it was on a weekday in early May. It's also a great place for cliff jumping. morning we have a cruise book today to take us around milos because there are some places which are reachable only by boat so it's a great way of sightseeing we're all here at the adamas port and our ride is here too we are going to sail around the island of milos and its neighboring island polyagos we'll sail past some of the villages including plaka which is the capital town of Milos and many rocks and volcanic landscape. During the cruise, we were also offered breakfast, lunch and arguably the best dessert I had in Greece. I'll add the link of the tour in the description. The sky is finally starting to clear up just in time for our first stop, Sikia Cave.
This is the Blue Lagoon in Polyagos and even though the weather is really bad right now, you can still see how blue the water is and I can only imagine how beautiful it looks on a sunny day. And this concludes our day two in Milos. And with this perfect goodbye, it's time to head to the last destination, Mykonos. This time, we opted for a fast ferry. Our ferry arrived at the new port in Mykonos and I had already arranged for a transfer with the hotel. And here's a quick room tour. And now, let's explore the Mykonos town, aka Hora. It's full of whitewashed houses, blue doors, and cascades of pink bougainvillea. We didn't party in the party capital of cyclists, but still ended up having the best time and getting lost into these maze of beautiful cobblestone streets was one of my favorite things to do in Mykonos. First, we had some lunch and then stroll around the main shopping street, Matojiani. From luxury stores to souvenir shops, art galleries to boutique stores, Mykonos is not just a party island but also a very popular shopping destination. Next stop, the iconic windmills of Mykonos and Little Venice. Both are pretty popular spots to grab a drink and enjoy the sunset. And the best way to start your day? A breakfast buffet. Getting around the island is pretty easy. All major beaches are connected by buses and boats. We took the bus from the main bus station at Hora to get to Paradise Beach. This is where one of the most popular beach clubs is and during peak seasons you should make a reservation to avoid any disappointments. But all we wanted to do was relax on the beach. Back to the Hora for one last time and taking inspiration from all the Adelic shops in every nook.
trying Freda for the first time as we wait for our airport shuffle, which means this is the end of the vlog. If you like it, please like and subscribe to my channel and I shall be back soon. Bye.